Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build a website using GoDaddy hosting. If you have never built a website, this video is for you. By following this tutorial, you will be able to create any type of website like a blog, an e-commerce store or a simple website for your business. So let's start. First thing you have to do is scroll down and go to the video description. Here you will be able to find this link to my website. Just click on it. In a new tab, it will open my website. Here you will be able to find various coupon codes for GoDaddy services. So for this tutorial, we are going to use GoDaddy's WordPress managed hosting, which is the first option here. All you have to do is simply click on it. This will open GoDaddy website in a new tab and the best discount coupon code will be automatically applied to your checkout cart. Now scroll down and you will be able to see all the plans offered by GoDaddy for managed WordPress hosting. Here you can see further details of these plans. If you are creating a simple blog type of website and are on a budget, then I would recommend you to go with the basic plan. But if you are creating a website for your business or e-commerce store, then I would recommend you to go with the ultimate plan. This will ensure that your website will be able to handle any surge in traffic. GoDaddy also recommends the ultimate plan as the best value plan. For this tutorial purpose, we will use basic plan. Click on add to cart here. On this page, you will have to select the term link for which you want to buy the plan. If you followed the link in the description, you will get the best deal for 12 months. So I will keep this selected. Scroll down and here you will be able to see an add-on offered by GoDaddy. So we do not need it. Click on continue. Now here you will have to search for a domain name which will be your website name. For example, I will search swpguides.com and click on submit. As you can see, this search result returned a message, sorry, bestwpguides.com is unavailable for this offer. So this means this website name has already been taken. So we will have to search for another name. For this tutorial purpose, I'm just going to add a numerical value and search again. You can see this domain name is available and it's free. So we will click on select and continue. On this page, you will be greeted with this message that the promo code is valid and you got a great deal. It will only happen if you followed the link in the description. Now scroll down and review your plan again. Make sure that there is no spelling mistake in your domain name. Now we will need this add-on for full domain privacy and protection. This is important to protect your personal data. So I will click on add. Now scroll down and you can review the final amount you will have to pay. Then click on checkout. Here you will have to create an account with GoDaddy. It's really simple. All you have to do is enter your email address, username and password. Then click on create account. After this, you will have to fill some other personal details too, like your billing address, contact number, and it's really simple to create your GoDaddy account. On next page, you will have to select your country, your preferred payment method and complete the checkout process. After completing the payment, you will see two options. Select the first manual WordPress setup for experienced users. On next screen, you will have to create username and password for your WordPress website login. Now, we will have to select the server location for our website. Select the location which is closest to your audience. This will take few seconds and you will see this message. Congrats, your site is ready. Now click on view my site. It will directly log you into the WordPress area. So you can see here, our WordPress website is ready, but currently this is a temporary domain. 
so now you can see here let's go to godaddy dashboard area and here scroll down and in the action center you will see the first message to set up the custom domain click on it and select the domain and then click on attach now scroll down and in the domains area you can see it's processing from the three dots you can make this domain your primary domain now let's the processing is complete and visit our website you can see we can access our wordpress website on the custom domain earlier it was on the temporary domain now let's log into the wordpress dashboard area from where we can manage all wordpress settings here enter the username and password you created before and click on login after logging in from here you can manage every settings about your wordpress website just let's visit our website and see this is the default setup of wordpress and now you can create any type of website with this you can watch my other tutorials if you want to make this a blog or a e-commerce website those video link will be in the description i hope you found this video useful if you did please give this video a like